more and more commercial space. Wow. Yeah, it's uh, it's kind of early for me, you know, on Sunday. Um. Oh shit! I thought it was twelve. I thought it was their team. <laughs> yeah, I wanted to to come in early and you know, just to enjoy peace and quiet. Freeze my ass. <laughs> So damn cold. I mean, I hope the sun, you know, the sun has been, I've been feeling it. And it feels so good. <clears throat> Tales from the crib. From the crib. Lots of, um, like bushes starting to bloom. at the bodega. They're going water tons of garbage. We cannot wait until the 21st. Wow, I'm gonna lose my gloves. And my face is frozen already. <clears throat> wow. Still no stay home. People are getting ready for something. You see a lot of those things, you know. On steroids. I even wonder if they, they probably have uh, bulletproof. They probably got bulletproof for uh, everything. Something like that is almost like a million dollars, probably. She was massive. She was in a, some attic, <clears throat> allegedly, allegedly. 
writing her diary. And, uh, yeah. Sometimes I feel like that bitch. We are free. We are free. Down. They're looking, they're looking down. I've never seen them coming in the afternoon. A lot of the, the flowers look down. <clears throat> but there's sunlight. I like so sore. Like if I went back to the gym, no, I only went back to yoga. You know, once again they lie on Saturday, saying the rain wasn't gonna stop until noon. I don't think there was even rain, but. I just need some excuse not to go to yoga. <sighs> oh, I can't believe I'm all sore. All my rib cage, sore, everything. Just from the damn stretches. It's unbelievable how fast the human body can deteriorate, you know. <clears throat> I guess it's true. If you don't use it, you lose it. I lost all my, <coughs> you know, just an ability to be a human being you know, without having to feel the next day, you know, like I run a marathon, just lifting weights. Well, then again, you know, the shit that I take is a steroid, you know, uh, the estrogen I take, so that's another thing, you know. <sighs> that's another thing, you know, what to, what to take. Somebody there or not? I love my Yosemite. I mean, this is this is the the beauty of being high up. You know, people get lazy. 
day of my life. No, just stay on the ground. I don't know myself. I was just like, I want to stay right here. This is horrible. This thing, I don't know how long it's been. Wow. I almost tripped on a step. Is that a welcome? <laughs> Somebody was here. <sighs> My hand is frozen. My hand is frozen. My nose is leaking. <laughs> Shit whole country from hell. So people fighting to come here for real. That's a damn propaganda. It's amazing. <clears throat> like, really? <sighs> that was stupid, you know. 1989, there was no internet. <clears throat> but now they got internet. <clears throat> they got all these kinds of social media. I guess I should be making my videos. Maybe too soon. It's like, do not... Get your ass over here. This shit is dreadful. <coughs> Whoops. This shit is not worth it. Not worth it. I mean, like, I could say 1989, I still got a little bit of fun, you know? I still got a little bit of, uh, you know, excitement, you know. I mean, it was nothing. It was nothing. Just parties. That's another question, you know, for governments. Governments have parties. Why do people gotta spend all their money? Well, actually, I was going to the ones that was free with the uh, open bar, with the uh, top shelf, top shelf open bar. That's what I, I used to go, but still, you know, I <clears throat> waste a lot of time. <clears throat> and every party, like, you know, they go like, um, you know, the advertisement. It's uh, like more and more shameless, you know. Like, oh yes, it is great. It's a great party. It's like, I guess it's like chasing a pie. <coughs> chasing a pie, one of these. It's all marketing. And it's all bullshit. Smoke and mirrors. Circus. I mean, it was like the music, I guess, that was my, my thing, you know. Uh, this DJ from God knows where is going to be there. Where? Oh, wow. I don't have to go over there. Where is DJ India? It's in New York City. <laughs> oh my god, they get you. They get you. When you're young, they really get you. They really get you. Not to mention the, you know, the imaginary, whatever, you know, the possibility. Because the mind goes crazy. It's not so The mind always goes crazy. The mind. 
And then halfway to the party, you go, okay, I might get late. <laughs> That's it, you know? It's like, there's nothing here. There's nothing. Everybody's just like, it's like a scavenger hunt. Looking for an imaginary. Uh, I don't know what they call it in this language. Party? Imaginary. That's not to say I did need some. It's like kind of like you, you, you go like this for a little while. You can't keep up with those party animals. They're off to Ibiza. They're off to like whatever. You know? It's crazy. I don't know how much time. to say, okay, two years. <clears throat> if I don't meet somebody interesting, somebody like whatever, you know, if I don't, you know, change my life, you know, then I stop going to the stupid parties. Nope. <laughs> I did the whole 90s, the whole 90s, and only because they shut down the, the nightclubs, the dance clubs. <clears throat> Only because they imposed, you know, stupid table service. You know, that shit got me away. That shit scared me away right away. I'm gonna spend money. I'm talking about how I spend my time. You like it, you want to spend money? Mm -hmm. You want to have a police, you know, drink tickets and something. I still did like, like four years, five years, <laughs> five years of the new millennia. I mean, it was not all shuttered down like, overnight, it was like, it was like gradually, you know. The parties just became really lame. And really good. I mean, it was only good. Whereas in the 90s, it was like anybody who did anywhere, you know. <clears throat> I mean, there were so many tourists. You know, we like, we like the guy like a flyer or magazine or something. Or, <clears throat> I mean, even the magazine they were not really telling much. And I was in the, the time out and the village boys and stuff like that. They just died on the road. The gay section. As the gay listings, you know, for, you know, New York City parties got bigger mm -hmm. 
I don't know if it's a coincidence. I don't know, but <coughs> that's been the fun stuff. So, city in New York City, North York. I mean, promoters, they got, uh, they got a room. The promoters got a room, or even they got a floor, you know, the smallest floor. They couldn't fill it up. No gay promoter couldn't fill it up. They have to. Oh, we always just like, <coughs> you know, have a little section. Whether, you know, whatever. Limelight. Or, I mean, the big clubs. Everything just makes everything in this place. And you didn't know who was who, you didn't know what was what, nothing. And I think, you know, especially for the you know, the Greeks, you know, Europe. That's what they like. <laughs> Let's talk about uh, World War Three. I mean, we're flat broke. I'm talking about. World War III. This is the most retarded, the most absurd thing in the world. <clears throat> and now they want to go on the. Um, they want to go on the. Um, what they say? Time mode. Let me see. Oh, my bitch. It's like they don't even know what the war time mode is. I'm like, I was like, what is the war time mode? Really? I mean, I think the, the thing that appealed to these <coughs> airheads is just the fact that <coughs> they want to do what they do without answering Congress. want to answer to nobody, you know? Just to say. I know there are 500 billion dollars to Chilinski. We're going to do whatever we want to do. Still, I don't see any protest. I don't see no protest. There's been like news and statements coming out of Washington that people are all cool.
it's almost as if they're testing the waters to see, you know, like <clears throat> how far we can go without these idiots, you know, lashing back. <clears throat> but of course, you know, they're funding. Okay, you know, controlling. <clears throat> if you're funding, you're controlling the non-profit industrial complex. So, <clears throat> you put out, you organize a protest. You ain't getting grants. You ain't getting grants. It is like, uh, it's absolute madness, you know, because we've been speaking up against uh, United Slaves imperialism. I mean, I'm talking about like, okay, just keep it now in Latino America. You know, we've been like denouncing for centuries now, probably at least two centuries, <clears throat> how the United States government, it's, <clears throat> you know, doing all kinds of um, false flag operations. Orchestrating, you know, coup d'état against a president who refused to lick their boots. So now the Republicans are like, oh my god, they did it to us too. Well, of course, they do it to you too. You never complain what it was done to us. Mm -mm. <clears throat> oh, those damn brownies can go to hell. Never lifted a finger. Never raised a voice, you know. While the United States government put up a show fake show with fake actors, fake everything, yeah? Hmm. Case in point. Four years ago, uh -oh, I forgot what they were. last month. <clears throat> the United States government and the, the tiny little bit uh, 
European Peninsula, you know, that little turn sticking out, put up a, a show, you know, organize uh, for more than, than two years. They spent, <clears throat> I mean, like, <clears throat> I can only imagine how much they this spent, you know, in publicity and, uh, you know, signing the contracts from all the, the top sellers. <coughs> <coughs> At least that's what they want to tell us, that they got top seller actors, I mean, actors, uh, singers, musicians, whatever, you know, musicians. They don't know what music is, but they are the, the top rated, the, you know, the most, um, how do you say that in, in English? The most um, overpriced. <laughs> no, just say it like that, you know, it's not a translation, but it's not what I was looking for. When, you know, we have a word, you know, like, when there's an artist or an actor, whatever, you know, and that is, oh, I guess they said the top earners. No, that's not quite the translation. Earners. You know, the top, in my language, is cotizadas. Los mejores cotizadas. Y las mejores cotizadas, ¿no? From uh, <clears throat> Latin America and, you know, whatever. Europe, you know. On Europe, you have this bozo, you know, from Virgin Records, uh, Richard Bronson, <clears throat> and you wouldn't even know he's a CEO because he was like, you know, day and night, you know, making like little selfie videos, it's like, come on, it's gonna be great, it's gonna be a great concert, it's like, you're supposed to be like in charge of all this shit, but you know, like, he was also doing marketing, heavy marketing, because, you know, I guess his name, you know, Virgin Records, you know, whatever, you know, which don't exist, but it don't even exist no more, but anyway, um, <coughs> So, but, uh, <clears throat> you know, there's tons of documentaries on him. You know, the most successful man in history. Uh, the most this, the most that, the most I'm getting a hiccup. but I have seen, you know, like, you do a search and, like, I mean, like, they're just short of saying that he created humanity. For real. I don't know who he is, you know, that character, Bronson. Um, you know, probably it's just another mulatto, you know, passing for white, you know, like the millions of Arabs in Europe <clears throat> that, you know, they like, oh, now we're white, we're white, Macron, like, you know, the royal family in Spain, look him up. Look him up, straight up Arabs, Arabs. But they are like, oh no, they're French. They are Bourbon, the Bourbon. The Bourbon dynasty. You know, they have the, 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 the double chin hanging out. Hairy AF, and they're like, oh, disgusting. Just like uh, the president of Dominican Republic. Luis Abinader. Look at them. Look at them. They all look like the same. 
<clears throat> you know, uh, the Arabs. Like, oh, no, they're white Europeans. Uh huh. So, even Bukele, the president of El Salvador. So, another Arab, you know, they are positioning themselves, you know, because, you know, they got tired of the desert, right? And now it's like they have more money than God, so now they're like, you know, sucking our blood in Latin America, you know what? Like, oh no, that's okay, it's okay, they're migrants. Mm -hmm. So, what was I talking about? Oh, yeah, so that's just to put an example. <clears throat> I think it was uh, the 28th of February. I think the anniversary, that was the fourth anniversary, it's been four years. I remember vividly because, you know, I spent those two weeks, you know, to my computer, you know, saying like, you know, all oh, these bastards are you know, plotting something really awful, really like, what they say that word, I don't even know what it means, nefarious, something, you know, like, oh no, it's like, the humanitarian aid, and you know, <clears throat> they was like rescuing the theme from, you know, remember like Michael Jackson? We are the world, we are the children. Yeah, USA, USA, you know, like, oh, it sounds so nice. Aid, don't you want some aid? And, uh, Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It was like, wow. They came like this close from, you know, just entering and taking the whole state, you know. I mean, that, that would have been awful, you know, just to, to get to, to steal, you know, one, any territory of Venezuela. Come on, it just, just that would have set up awful precedent. That would have demoralized everybody. <clears throat> and uh, they would say, you know, because, I mean, there was this close to say, you know, the United Slaves say, oh, all these people in the state of Táchira, that's the a, that's a name of the state, Táchira, Táchira State, they want to be rescued, like Taiwan, like, you know, like whatever, you know, they want to be rescued. We hear them, they're begging us. <clears throat> but it turned out that Tachira is, is Chavista. Chavista AF. So, they wasn't even like, you know. <clears throat> I mean, like, if you're gonna, like, plot something, shouldn't it be, like, a state which is, like, you know, uh, the turf of the opposition? You know? I say in quotations because say opposition <clears throat> all over the world not only you know you know when we say opposition to to uh, righteous popular government you know you gotta say United States United Slaves puppets <coughs> in Mexico we still have how many we how many they still got the opposition like five or six states and every state including my home state is a piece of shit you see all the violence happening in Mexico because they're still like oh Mexico those are the states you know where the opposition won the elections Those are the ones, so it's like, <clears throat> but um, I mean, I, I just wanted to, 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 to use that as an example. And it's been one of many, I mean, it was probably the most publicized, the most hyped up concert, I don't know, probably in the history of Latin America. He was like, 
uh, designed to create um, euphoria, <clears throat> to create, and, and they, they did a little bit, you know, they did a little bit. I mean, especially in Colombia, I mean, at the time, which, I mean, it was not President Gustavo Petro, it was uh, Porky, Ivan Duque, uh, you know, so, I mean, it was so grotesque that you had all the U.S. puppet presidents in the region coming over for that particular occasion, you know, just to enjoy, <clears throat> because they thought it was like, this is the end of Venezuela. This is the end of Chavismo. You know, I mean, like, so you got the president of Uruguay, the president of Argentina, of course, the president of Colombia, you know, uh, <clears throat> he was even trying to deny that it was him. <clears throat> but he showed up in, like, around noon <clears throat> in the bridge. And they're like, oh, everything looked great, you know, like, yeah, we're going to get, you know, he was like, he was like saying, Colombia is going to get twice as large today because we're going to annexate Venezuela. I mean, that's how awful it was. That's how, like, you know, <clears throat> the way they planted, the way, you know, like, oh, you know, these trailers, you know, of course they got to be trailers, you know, like trailer trash, right? So it was a humongous trucks, you know, monster trucks, supposedly with the humanitarian aid. And they were telling the whole planet, you see, you see that dictator, President Nicolás Maduro Moros, he don't let this humanitarian aid for the people that are dying. Because we, <laughs> you know, are struggling with, with brutal sanctions, economic sanctions, economic blockade. Oh, no, nobody can talk to Venezuela. No, nobody. Don't talk to Venezuela. The slave master gets really pissed if you talk to Venezuela. <clears throat> so, 25 years of that. And he got the nerve to come say, here is... USA, humanitarian aid. The same people that they, they kill, literally kill, because, you know, I'm talking about basic, you know, surger, surgical equipment, medications. Oh no, they just, the same thing like we see like in Syria, they're stealing all their oil. <clears throat> Every ship that it was like trying to go fuck yourselves, go fuck yourselves, motherfucker. You see, he don't even make no noise. Go fuck yourself. Thank God it's only one. That probably means that it's very expensive to have the, you know, the camouflage, the silent helicopters. That was not the solution. The solution is like a stop flying, you know, every 20 minutes on top of us. For what? For what? There's nothing going on. <clears throat> We've been doing that shit for more than three years already. <clears throat> what they have found? Nothing. So can we start squandering tax dollars and stop all these helicopters? Oh, oh, so it was bad. It was bad, you know. Like, you know, it's called. It's known as the Battle of the Bridges because it was like the bridge in Colombia, the bridge in Venezuela, and you got all these trailers with humanitarian aid at the border. <clears throat> they was like, it was gonna like just charge against you know you know people I guess at one point they even like friends are like okay we just we just gotta go in we just gotta go in because we gotta save lives 
This is a humanitarian aid. We got it right here. We got it right here, you know. For Christ's sake, let, let us save those people in Venezuela that are dying. Because we, you know, we don't allow nothing to get into Venezuela. And now, we come out with humanitarian aid. It was a scam. I mean, it's like, everybody, I mean, unless you immediate, you know, that was, a, that was a scam. That was just a trap. <clears throat> you know, to say, you know, oh, you know, the, we're, we're going to save Venezuela this time. And we, just, we just have here tons of food, tons of food. So, you know, and water, you know. <clears throat> Especially that day, you know, what day was it? I don't even remember. It's like so many days. There's something like a four. I don't know. It might be the fourth of February. Anyway, but the Battle of the Bridges, you can look it up. The Battle of the Bridge, of the Bridges. So, um, you can see, like, there's a lot of footage. It's like really tense, you know, like it was looking for anything to spark, you know, any, any reason was a good reason to invade Venezuela, you know. Meanwhile, they had this mega concert happening right there too. <clears throat> I mean, they had everything. They had like all, you know, all their, all the biggest hits, which they ain't got none. They don't have nothing. I mean, like Shakira, I think is like the biggest artist. You can imagine how desperate they are. Nothing. Nothing. She's a whore. You know, she's. Anyway. Uh, <clears throat> so, um, yeah, I mean, at one point, at one point. Oh, yeah, because actually they, they hire a lot of, uh, you know, anybody. They hired, uh, you know, I don't know, they looked like, you know, there was homeless, a lot of homeless because, you know, there was a lot of international press, you know, covering the event. I mean, that was like, also like, not very smart, right? So, I mean, they spent like two years advertising for that concert. So, obviously, they're going to get press so so the press went underneath the bridge the press was at the bridge i talk about international press and, you know there was filming this these poor you know homeless drug addicts you know they seemed like it was the drug addicts you know and cheap cheap drugs not you know uh, um i mean not to say you know but yeah, they have no t-shirt. They have no t-shirt. Naked, <laughs> you know. And there was, they got him on film, you know, making uh, Molotov cocktails. And the journalist is like, oh, that's cute. What you doing? They're like, well, you know, we're like, you know, we're gonna like, I mean, you cannot make this shit up. You cannot make this shit up. I mean, like, I'm not gonna say that there was a lot of independent journalists, but the ones that that was there, that was enough for that day. <laughs> because they show, like, you know, like, are you serious? Like, who hired you? Why are you here today? You know, like, whatever. It's like, you know, and they were like, they would get quiet. The guys, they would get quiet. You know, they almost said, they almost said how much they got paid, who paid them, you know, how much they're going to get paid afterwards, you know, to go and, um, and make them look as if they were Venezuelans fed up with their government. Jesus. Just like, what's his name, that clown, uh, Jorge Ramos, from Univision, you know, uh, that he wanted an interview with the president of Venezuela, Nicolás Maduro Moros. 
So he arrived early and mysteriously, you know, he happened to film this homeless, <clears throat> you know, young man. Just, just, you know, going to uh, a garbage truck. Going to a garbage truck and pulling out the most beautiful cake. Perfect cake. You start eating the cake. You know, how are you going to fight a whole cake inside a garbage truck? How? Yeah, it's like, I know there's miracles, right? There's miracles, but it's like, I mean, okay, you found some cake in a garbage truck. You know, but you can see the conditions that the cake is in. Oh no, this one, you know, just got out of the bakery. It was like, oh, they all start eating from the cake, from the garbage, blah, blah, blah. It's like, I mean, and he is probably, might not be a billionaire, but he's like a borderline billionaire. And nobody questioned, you know, why he was anchor that, you know, he don't even get those kind of ratings, why they continue, right? And he come to Mexico, and he go to the National Palace, you know, every, you know, every morning, the president at 7 a.m. got a, a, you know, a press conference. So, he tried at least, what is it, like four times, five times, go there and smear, you know, like, every time he come out and, and people are yelling at him, you're a scum, you're a scumbag, you're like, you know, it is, uh, it's another day. Thank God for social media. Thank God, you know, it's like, you know, but that's not to say that it's just on an automatic, you know. I mean, governments, you know, this gotta be like from inside the government, like we see right now in Peru. We, we kidnap the, the legitimate constitutional president of Peru. Three months ago, it's been more than three months that we kidnapped the president of Peru. And without any legality, nothing, you know, we gave them, we gave him like 18 months in prison. With no proof, they say, oh, he wanted to do a coup d'etat. Mm -hmm. Where's the proof? Can you show us a... Can you show us a... It's from New York City. Can you show us an email? Can you show us any anything where you know he was plotting a coup d'état? <coughs> <coughs> nothing. Nothing. They got nothing on the president on President Pedro Castillo. They got nothing. Immediately, the United States came out and say, you know, oh, yes, the vice president is now the president of Peru. Same vice president that always swore up and down that if they ever touch President Castillo, she was going to go with him. She was not, she got all these speeches crying. Even, even uh, speaking in, in Quechua, you know, they're like, oh my God, no, enough. We got, we got to respect our indigenous nations, you know, our indigenous nations been like 500 years, starved, you know, uh, persecuted, whatever. And as soon as she become president, 
you know, being the vice president of an organization per, per se, you know. <clears throat> but she started doing everything. She started agreeing everything with the opposition. So right there, you got a de facto, you got a de facto government because she was elected vice president, sure. You know, for the political party of the president to continue the vision of the president. That's why they have the, the figure of vice president. <clears throat> so now to hear the Republicans come out and cry, like, oh my God, oh my God, January 6th. January 6th, this is, this is a show, it was, it was a, you know, photo op, it was a, you know, red flag operation, right? I mean, Tucker, Tucker Carlson, I don't know why he talked, he probably don't even got nothing to talk, anyway, you know, so, you know, he made a whole piece, of, you know, the, you know, with, with some of the clowns from January 6th, and, you know, how they just, they go around, and, you know, you see this, this, uh, you know, this trailer, you see them like, you know, sometimes like in awe of being in the Capitol. <clears throat> like, I mean, they obviously they did not want to destroy because, come on, every single law had come out of the Capitol building. I mean, it's, <clears throat> it's white supremacism. It benefit the whites, so why would the, the same crackers be, you know, you know, like, I mean, as much as they like to play victim, they have benefit from all the laws, you know, one way or another, one way or another, you know, they benefit too, because, you know, the, the white privilege, you know, and they're like, we're not gonna go back to, you know, racism 101. But uh, <clears throat> it's just hypocritical, you know? It's just very, very uh, hypocritical. I'm like, I retweet, I retweet some, some of the shit, you know, like, and it don't even seem to make any difference because people already, it seemed like people already got like, like some microchip, like, oh no, you cannot believe it unless, you know, I don't know. But uh, nothing happened. I mean, I think that, <clears throat> I think uh, Dr. Carlson's piece came out. Uh, at least like five days ago. That shit came out like five days ago. And, um, nothing. Nothing. And I, I mean, I don't believe that every protest gotta be in Washington. I don't believe that, you know, you can do protests, you know, anywhere. Nothing. Nothing. So, <clears throat> to me, if I want to read this, I'll read it as, you know, more of the same, more of the same, you know, the same good cop, bad cop routine, right? They want to, uh, they want to like, uh, Okay, you know, like the Republicans, <clears throat> they recognize the value, you know, the, of the distraction. You know, they recommend the 
they recognize that the, the value of the distractions they are making them right. And they're going around saying, oh, we, we are the underdog. We. I mean, can't make this shit up. Cannot make this shit up. I mean, like, if it turned out <clears throat> that the victims right here in the United States of America is the Republicans. The Republicans. I mean, like, really. Not the millions and millions of homeless that we keep. I mean, that's our number one product. If anybody wants to say, you know, why the U.S. produce <coughs> homelessness, poverty, you know, destitution, those are the trademarks. Those are the, <coughs> you know, I mean, wars because, you know, you know thank God, wars seem like, <laughs> seem like nothing is working, thank God. But that's not to say that they're devastating. That's not to say that there's tons of devastation from these attempts. You know, I mean, that's not to say that, you know, like, there is, I mean, like, I don't know, anybody's counting how many billions and billions of dollars we were sending, allegedly sending to Zelensky? I mean, I don't believe that for one minute. I think they just go straight to Andorra, or they go even right here, you know, in the most like hillbilly town, you know, honky town, whatever. That's uh, you know, like inshore, inshore, um, forty, forty, wealth, forty. It don't matter. It don't matter where you, you know where you go. They have like stashing here, stashing over there. But I mean, they keep writing all their all their um, whatever round sucking. passing the bill to us, to the taxpayers, just by calling it, you know, national debt, foreign debt. Just like that. Just like that. You go and, uh, you know, um, They probably went, oh shit, you know, we're gonna pay for all that. Say, dog, national debt. Now it's the peoples who haven't seen a dime, who haven't got any infrastructure, new infrastructure in more than a hundred years. <clears throat> I mean, they got nothing to show for it. They got nothing to show for it. I mean, like, if they're trying to tell us, you know, like, you know, hey, you know, come on. Look around. It's like, you know, they're there. They're there, you know. You can, you can tell, you know, $32 trillion. 32. Some people say the 35. $32 trillion missing. Nowhere to be seen. Nowhere. All this shit. I mean, like, I'll do a lookout. You know, uh, the, you know, all around here. You see, all the buildings, at least from the 1950s, the newest. Buildings. I mean, now there's this the ones that they're doing right now. 
scam that they're, they're doing. They have a, a epidemic of building uh, luxury condominiums, luxury buildings, period. While, you know, small businesses are going out of business, people are shutting down. And I always go back to like, damn, you know, watching that guy in Greece. <clears throat> I mean, he blog every day from, from Greece. Um, and hear him talking like, I wasn't even paying attention when he was talking, really, I was like, when he started showing around. I think I saved that video. That's a good video because it's on the other side, on the opposite side, and doing the same thing. He gone like, let me show you something. He was just, you know, talking as usual, you know, like, you know, I think he worked for the Department of Tourism in, in Greece, always showing over there. It's awful, awful. And first, first of all. Shit is always empty. Always empty. You know. Very rarely you see that people walking around. And you gotta be downtown. <clears throat> you got all these stores. You don't see nobody. I don't know. It looks really freaky. I don't like it. And I do pay attention sometimes. I do pay attention, especially when I'm on my computer like HD, like, let's see what they like, raving about. None of them like landscapes. No, they look like, they look old to me. Old and dried up. They got trees, but not like us. Like, you know, like, it's like, you see, in, within a month over here, you're going to see an explosion. Literally, explosion of greenery, and I don't know when is there summertime over there, but I never seen it. I never seen it. And I was just talking about I did like a three-hour video on. Oh my God! I can't believe it. I cannot even say it. I cannot even say it. Oh my God! So shaky. I did like a three-hour video on this movie from the nineteen late nineteen seventies. And I think it came out like in 1980. You know, it's called like Summer Lovers. Summer Lovers. You know, uh, and it's in Greece. <clears throat> and it is in Greece. So they went all the way out to show the best in that area. You know, some islands are supposed to be famous. I've never heard of them. Never heard of them. Like, uh, when they go to the beach, they have no beaches. I used to know beaches. There was no like sand, like, yeah, no. I don't know. I guess they must have some beaches like that, but you know, I don't know why they show that. I don't know. I guess because it's a nudist beach. I don't know. Always nudist beaches usually get. Like the one I go to here in New York City, it was the worst of the worst. You know, <clears throat> filthy. And, you know, they like, it's not safe. It's not safe. You know, like red tides, you know, big waves. Uh uh. That's, but that's all it is. So maybe that's why. But I mean, like I'm telling you, like this guy should not even be playing that shit because he looks so depressing. He's supposed to keep on, like, you know, with like 10,000 pixel phone, whatever, you know, to go around. He got like a special thing to stabilize it. I should buy me one of those. I don't know how much that, it, that costs. <clears throat> but, um, and, uh, nothing to see. Nothing to see. You mean like empty restaurant? Oh, so that day, <coughs> people like, I never heard him talk about this. So it's like, it was like, what? It's like, 
you guys are going the exact same thing we're going over here on the other side of the pond you know like unbelievable he started like renting like you see you see all the luxury condominiums constructions coming up all the and all the business shutting down and he started pointing pointing gone gone out of business out of business he going into this restaurant it was open it was open the restaurant it was like very spooky like you know empty they got the chairs everything in there like you know they leave it open so hopefully people people they don't they don't have to you know call them up and go show the restaurant so they just left it open you know so how long i don't know how long that restaurant been abandoned like that And, you know, and then you hear, I got to stand up. And then you hear, um, uh, what's it called? You hear, um, like, internet shopping. You hear internet shopping. You know, I've been hearing <clears throat> for a long time. You know, that shit is a scam. That shit is a scam. They are not making money. They are not making money. But, <clears throat> but they want uh, they want people to believe that they are making money by selling online. And uh, they're subsidized. Everything is subsidized. Because their ultimate goal is to get people, you know, as a habit. And there's people, unfortunately, there's people already right now. There's people who automatically, automatically need something. And the mind, like a, like a dog, immediately go into um, online shopping. Not me. I mean, if I need something, like, you know. Get my ass to the store, get my ass, whatever, I, I gotta buy everything, like I buy everything <clears throat> all over the city, all over the five boroughs I buy, because I try to save money, I'm not getting pulled, I try to save money, I, I like, uh, you know, <laughs> I mean, I gotta go here, I gotta go there, you know, like, I just went to Burnside to buy the worth. I bought uh, five dollars for the berry kit, five dollars for the canary. This much, <clears throat> tell me, it was a bag. This much. I tried to buy anywhere else. It's like, I like, I do like, I do mix it up with the, with some of the bougie stuff. You know, but now I spend fifteen dollars for a bag every time. I mean, especially in the winter. I mean, like, or when the canary is molting. Yeah, I gotta give him the best. We gotta give him the best so he can get his feathers back up and start walking. Now I gotta pee. A little bit of coffee. <clears throat> so, um, oh, I gotta get the door out. Wow, it's nice and quiet. Yeah, I got traumatized. That was like two weeks ago. I was sitting on the second to last table on this side. Like on this side, you know, like, and then some Neanderthals, they come with balloons and cake. It's like, oh my God. I was like, are you serious? Right next to me? They gotta, they gotta sit right next to me. They, they, Somehow they, they, they thought that I was going to be, you know, leaving or whatever. I mean, like, 
But that was a perfect example of how they don't modify their behavior no matter what. They don't modify their their behavior. Like, you know, instead of saying, like, you know, anybody else is like, uh oh, somebody got our table. It's like right next to it, like, you know. And I don't even know why. I don't even know how I started. I was already talking about Malcolm X and and I, and I was playing, oh, you know, uh, uh, the last part of the message to the grassroots. <clears throat> and, uh, you know, it's like, I'm not going to go. I'm not going to change my, when I'm talking to the damn phone like a maniac. <laughs> I'm not, so I stayed there until I wanted to. And of course, at the end, all these black and brown faces come out and and sing happy birthday <laughs> to that little white devil. See how many? I don't know if they're burnt. Like they came out, but they look really yellow. I hope they're in born. Burnt. Born. Yeah, they're born, but it seemed like they was born. Look at their little toys. Look at them little toys. I don't know if you can hear that. The biplanes. <clears throat> so what is that yellow stuff? I don't know. Yeah, there's some people over here that they're blooming already. Look at this. <clears throat> yeah, but at night it gets like, in the evening it gets like at least uh, minus 20. What is that about? Is that more vapings? I don't know. <clears throat> so yeah, that those things, you know, they're like I mean I mean, they're psychopaths, you know. How are you going to have the nerve to say, like, Oh, my God. We was framed up. We was framed up, you know. False flag operation. You know, and... <clears throat> they never gave a damn, you know. And they never will give a damn every time. The United States government, you know, oust <clears throat> a legitimate, you know, president. You know, every time we destabilize governments, you know, just because they don't want to give us all their shit for free. So... I mean, I cannot say I don't care, you know, I cannot say I don't care because, you know, Malcolm X taught us about, you know, he said, you know, I'm for the truth no matter what it is, I'm for justice, no matter for whom, <clears throat> you know, like, you know, I don't know the whole speech, you know, <laughs> but but you know that is that's for me that's always in my mind head you know you got to be smart you got to be smart you cannot be like okay yeah they're not neanderthals yeah they're like they're the same ones who killed my ancestors for generations yes they are the same psychopaths that you know will continue 
to to be a ratchet until they find <laughs> you know somebody somebody who who can put them in their place <clears throat> so far they haven't found nobody i mean they find them and you know because they're such cowards that they wait until time pass and whoops he died poisoned or he disappeared or you know whatever you know you know we know how they they roll we know the great white way the great white way such a good workout to go down the hill I feel all my my muscles hopefully I can do some yoga before I take a bath I'm gonna take a hot bath <clears throat> I'm sore as if I was well I'm a little better today you know but two days ago I was like what I haven't gone to the gym why I feel so like I ran a marathon or something If I ever make a video about, you know, uh, so-called bottom surgery, I would be like the first thing, bitch, you better get into yoga at least six months before your surgery. Do as much yoga as you can. And as soon as you can go back to yoga, go back to yoga. Because this shit is unbelievable. I mean, depending on the on the age, right? Between like uh, 57 or like. Oh. Mm -hmm. It's like uh, I, I, it's kind of like I feel like I was like laying down for like six months. Not beautiful. You're gorgeous. You're gorgeous, mister. And this is not even the beginning. It's just the start. Nobody's telling them, you know, I, mean, I don't look, I don't look that much, you know, but I didn't look today, but every, every day they keep posting, you know, so she's like, can you believe that? They set us up. There was no such thing as, you know, January 6th, <clears throat> you know, they just, like, edited the videos and whatever, and hire actors <laughs> oh my god I'm like oh. but I don't know I don't think that they they actually able to reconcile um any of their actions. I don't think so. I mean, in their head. I think they know. I mean, like, they know what they're doing and they're doing it just because, you know, they see that's 
you know, the best way for them. <clears throat> I mean, like, to continue, like, I'm talking about, like, I mean, like, do you think, I mean, you would think, you know, a normal, a human being, actually, not a normal, a human being would have uh, behavior mod modification, you know, after, uh, I mean, like, you know, if it was a Republican, let's say even after uh, Trump's administration, right? And now after, you know, we've seen the, the real tapes from January 6th, and uh, you will think they will have behavior modification because they see what they do. You don't hear a single one of them. You don't see them. I mean, like, I mean, I do like a quick searches. I don't do like, you know. I, said, I don't see like anybody say like, oh shit, if they're doing this to us right here, and we're white, and we got plenty of white privilege and whatnot. Can you imagine what we're doing to Africa? Can you imagine what we're doing to the African continent? Of course not. Of course not. <clears throat> and that's the definition of a psychopath. Oh yeah, I'm crying bloody murder. Because we were set up on January 6th. But I don't give a fuck, you know, like, you know, we have already killed more than 70 people in Peru. You know, because the vice president, she just ordered the armed forces to shoot to kill. Shoot to kill. And they're so ratchet that even when they don't have bullets, when they don't have bullets, they, they're throwing um, bolts, they're throwing like, you know, anything at people. They have killed so many uh, Peruvian citizens, you know, just in cold blood. And you got the videos, you got tons of videos shooting, shooting them in the head, you know, shooting them in the vital organs, even with uh, with tear gas bombs, you know they actually, you know, one of these bombs fell on, on top of, uh, you know, one of the public buildings downtown Lima, Peru, and caused a big fire. And of course, they tried to blame the indigenous nations protesting their dictatorship. <clears throat> and um, but there were so many witnesses to say, "Hey, it was a it was a gas bomb. It was a tear gas bomb that caused the fire." So, but no matter what, you know, she's still like, they're still like passing laws. And, I mean, they got all the media. So the media keep, keep lying, keep saying, you know, oh, they're terrorists. They're no protesters. And that's the government that we impose in Peru right now for more than three months. Continue to uh, create chaos and, and devastation. Only because Peru got tons of minerals, tons of resources, and those are some of the things that we know. They're still like, you know, 
a lot of a lot of developing countries they're not even allowed to know you know how much they got you know what they got I mean we know uh, for example IT you know IET it got more natural oil probably as much as Venezuela but they are not allowed to to talk about it and especially they are not allowed to to you know feed their own people by you know um what's it called like, you know using it you know selling it and, and using it for their own uh progress for their own uh you know good like as you would think you know even the so-called Dominican Republic Dominican Republic they got tons of oil you see the president never even talking about it because that's part of the deal to be a servile to be a subservient to the whites so you know they got to keep selling that oh that island so poor they're so poor they're sitting on so many minerals and oil and what not look at their toys especially on the weekends sometimes it's like one after another one after another and if you can walk to the Hudson you can see tons of boats you know they never stress out they never stress out you know they go fly their planes sail their boats you know take a trip to the other side of the planet <laughs> like you know just just impromptu because they feel like because they're white and they say so and that is something that you know damn it's 2023 and it's like how come we don't i have i have not and i mean i try to have these conversations with other you know citizens the citizens on one foot right i try to know like so you don't feel angry anger seeing these crackers you know just living it up every effing day i don't even know much about some shit you know like but i can tell you i can tell you who's wearing you know bootleg or who's wearing uh, you know from burlington's uh you know tj max whatever and i can tell you most of the shit they're wearing is never going to those stores i never seen them going in those stores what means that means that you know shit they're, they're buying from from you know they're paying retail most likely they're paying retail most likely it's You know, they got their own websites. Uh, I mean, uh, I got some, some plastic bags, you know, for storage. You know, the vacuum sealed. <clears throat> so I got them from, you know, talking about, there's a scam, you know. Online, online, online sales is a scam, right? So I was looking... To buy, you know, 
the ones that wasn't so expensive. So I bought the ones that it was like fifteen dollars plus tax from Wally, from Wally Mart, and uh, I mean it was like one of these things. You know how you seal the bag; it broke right away. They give you a little, little plastic, so it's easy to to seal the bag. It's like a Ziploc. We're supposed to be heavy duty. It's supposed to be, you know. So your shit is like there for years or months, right? You 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 can just just uh, have it. You know, of course. Anyway. Not gonna get into that. So I don't even know what I was going to talk about it, but might as well I tell you the the end. The end was that I wanted to return it. I wanted to return because actually the second bag I used, you know, because I'm testing it to see how long it it can hold the air for real. So I was not even able to close it. I wasn't able to close it because it was like retarded. It like I suction all the air with the pump, and then it was like like a crater. It was like a crater, and and the cap had like a base too wide. So shit, I couldn't even close it. I was like, oh yeah, now I remember what I was telling these things. So I, they say, oh, you can start a return right here. And you start a return, okay? So I try several ways to return it. You know, it's like they can come pick it up at my house, like yeah. But he said, but you gotta promise that the package is gonna be ready. And one like. I don't have a printer, so how am I going to print the label? I thought it was going to be an option. We're going to send you uh, uh, stickers, labels. We're going to send you labels, labels, <laughs> labels. Look at this one. You guys are ahead of the game, huh? Early, early bloomers. March 12. And you guys are ready, like it's March 21st. So, um, <clears throat> so I try several ways, you know. And uh, well, I didn't see nothing working for me. So I, I think I decided to go. Uh, Postal. <laughs> I decided to go post. No, postal office. <coughs> I decided to, um, and then as I was trying to fill out the paperwork, uh, you, you know, like whatever, I clicked and they say, "Oh, that's okay. That's okay. You get your refund." I was like. What? What? Again, like, everybody is like, this shit is like 15 bucks plus tax. It's not like, you know, like $5.99 or something, you know, like, I thought it was not a lot, a lot of money, but, you know, yeah, you get your refund. You don't have to do nothing. I'm like, what? What? I mean, like, like so... That goes to show you that it is a scam. It is a scam. It's being subsidized, you know, just to make us. I mean, people are having really great experiences. People are having like you know like oh yes, survive shit, you know, free shipping, free returns, free this, free that. And you're making points on top of that, and you're making like, you know, like what? Where are they getting all this shit from? 
Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I was like, I mean, I remember, you know, because, because say I'm 57. I remember it was like, oh, oh no, you don't understand. You don't understand because they don't, you know, it is so costly to have, uh, um, you know, stores to get stores to get, uh, you know, <clears throat> staff to get uh, display counters to get all the shit. So all the savings is for the customer. Hmm. I mean, but I mean, what stores? What's nothing? They, they ain't spending nothing. I mean, most of the shit is being sold by, you know, like a. I don't know what would be a good name to call them. Shell companies like Target, Wally, Wally Mart. <clears throat> um, uh, what else? You know, all the online uh, honchos. All the, you know. So, they don't... I mean, nah, yeah, I guess online, no. We take scratch online. But they don't have shops, really. They don't have a lot of stores. So anyway, but anyway, that's besides the point. So, um... So that was shocking to me. I was like, really? Really, I don't have to return it. And sure enough, it was like immediately I got an email. Yeah, your refund. You've been refunded. Huh? But the reason I started talking about it is because of um, uh, I went into another website first, trying to look for the same bags. You know, I was like, let me, it's my street. And that's the little Baptist church, that cool. I'm still, every time I pass by, I'm amazed, you know. In six months, they was able to build not just one building, two buildings. Most of them already got windows already. You know, it's like, wow. And I noticed, like, I think it was Thursday or Friday, they put out the, the blue curtain, I don't know. It might be an elevator. Yeah, because it's more than five, five stories. It's more than five stories, so... So that means that... They they need elevators, so they can have. Yeah, that's probably for the elevators. That's probably for the elevators. And they're gonna have also for the back building. It looks like they're gonna have probably like a senior homes. Gonna be making so much money. You said ain't no joke. You said ain't no joke. I mean, like for real. They're gonna be making so much money. And it probably did not even cost them nothing to build a new church. Which, by the way, there was nothing wrong with the other church. They could have done at least three more stories up high and would have been okay. And, uh, I mean, everything is a donation. You know, the blueprints, the everything. The architect didn't charge anything. Because it's a church. It was a donation. <clears throat> tax exempt. Tax exempt, you see. Ethnic mafia. 
nothing Latvia, you know, that's that's just what it is. But um <laughs> so that guy is actually it's just like <laughs> you know how you know, gays and feminists are like separated at birth. Separated at birth, you know. I mean I'm still like you know, I got um I went back to that, <clears throat> you know, demonic application, you know, <laughs> online, you know, hoping to find, you know, somebody who would adopt both of my kitty cats at the same time, you know, because I thought, well, if anybody got money, it's the faggots, right? If anybody got money, like, nope. Everybody was like, you know, I found, you know, two separate guys to adopt. I don't even want to get into that. So anyway, <clears throat> and uh, I was offered um, um, one month subscription of, uh, you know, all these kind of extra, extra features. the application and like I say okay let me see just once and for all I paid I paid for the subscription it was like a dollar ninety nine and you got a whole month which actually it expired on the 14th on the 14th of the, this month I already canceled I was like okay you know because they say if you don't cancel it before then they're gonna charge you and that's just gonna be a, at least twenty dollars a month but like, what? No. So it turned out there's no tops. You know, by the way, T O P that means it's a gay guy who only is doing the inserted the inserted part. Look at the door. It looks just like the United Slaves. You could take a picture, take a screenshot, you know. How can you say with a picture and describe the United Slaves? Who opened the damn doors? Just left. <laughs> They're supposed to at least get it out of the way. I don't know. <clears throat> so, um. Where was I? Okay, so I was there, like, they all seem they're broke. They all seem they're broke. And, oh, what I was going to say, there's no tops. There's no tops. No more. I mean, I don't know if there was before. I don't know. There was no internet, so I don't know. Anyway, I don't even want to talk about that. I think I did a whole video, you know, how... Spooky it is, you know. It. Oh yes, I was. Uh, the reason I want to talk about it because, you know, everything is okay. Everything is okay. They, they are like. Um, let me see if I can do the whole turn. I want to get so loose, like a goose, <coughs> to fall off the screw. So. These guys, you know, like this T.O.P., you know, it's in, supposed to be the man, it's supposed to play the man in bed, at least in bed, you know. Um, and it's just like, wow. I mean, it might look like the first picture look okay, second picture might look okay, third picture started to be like, okay. You know, tutti frutti. Yeah, the last picture, I think it's five picture stops. I don't know. <clears throat> um, now the subject, the guy is dressed in pink, and you know, I don't know. It just, just got like, 
And they all like that. They all like that. They go like, you know, they put the first picture, you know, like to make, I guess, to, to, so the other guy think, you know, oh, that's a, that's a dude. That's a dude, you know, that's a man. <clears throat> and as you go into the, into the last picture, then they're like, you know, smiling like, you know, Miss America pageant. They go like, hey, giggling like, oh, God, oh my God. <laughs> so, like, so, yeah, well, long story short, yeah, it's a myth. It's a myth. There's no such thing as, you know, as anybody confused or anybody like, even the ones that they claim to be confused or to be like, you know, <laughs> they're confused or they are, they put curious. And they say, you know, they only want 10 inches plus. <laughs> How can you be curious? How can you say you'd be confused? But did you want a big penis? Okay. I mean, it, it is... It is a, like a... It's another, another like, metaphor for the United States. It is, uh, it's just the, the hypocrisy. It, you know, you go like, shit don't make any sense. Right? Oh, and, oh yeah, that's this is the reason why I started talking about it. They were saying that, uh, <clears throat> Oh, you know, uh, nothing, nothing really matters, you know, I mean, just like the same way, you know, feminists say, oh, nothing matters, you know, I can do whatever I want, I can do whoever the F I want, I can, I can do a whole football team. I can do Brook. I can do uh, you know I can become a prostitute whatever and that don't matter that don't make me less attractive to potential you know husbands so they're saying the same thing, you know, you say, <laughs> I mean, they put it right there, you know, oh, I love to sell cook, you know, and, oh, actually, they didn't tell you, most of the pictures that they have, most of the pictures are like, uh, I mean, obviously, they cut off uh, from, the, from, their, from their lips up. And I'm like, I guess I'm naive or whatever, you know. I thought at first I was like, I didn't even look at that, you know. So, yeah, they just want to be discreet. But no, that's not it. That's not it. And, and then you start looking and you see, and you see like, uh, you know, they're like, they are, um, yeah, they're like pouting, like, um, some of them got, uh, <laughs> I mean, it looked like lip gloss, it looked like. Oh, and like I say, I'm slow, you know. And then, uh, yeah, you start like reading some of their description, you know, like, you know. I mean, it, it's like, wow, wow, you go, they actually take pride on having no 
gagging reflex, you know, taking, you know, 12 inches, either from the back or from the front. Their pride come from, you know, you know, taking a whole train. I mean, just, just things like that, you know, it's just like, wow. And, yeah, some of them, they even got the same poses, you know, like, whatever her name was, or whatever the fucked out prostitute was, I don't, I don't know, uh, I assume, you know, because she's everywhere, you know, Rosie, Rosie, Rosie the Riveter, I mean, it's just like, wow, <laughs> wow, and there is, I mean, I don't think you can finish, you know, like, taking, looking at all their profiles, you know. I try to look a certain way, I try to look a certain way, you know. Yeah, I only look at tops. So, I mean, my experiment was that. Only looking at, at tops. Right, not uh, anything else, because I'm mean, like, shit, what am I gonna do? I'm mean, like, and yeah, some of them, they, they do contact me, and you know, like, I go the first thing, like, you know, what the fuck, you know, it's, it's versatile, versatile, <laughs> you see, they put it like as if it's a, it's a great thing, it is a good thing, right? and yeah, some of them, then, it's, it should be called, that application should be like, you know, you know, the bitching faggots, the bitching faggots, because that's all they're, all they do, I mean, like, you look at any, uh, you know, profile, and, and they go like, oh my god, you know, I don't like, uh, this, I hate that, I hate, you know, you message me, you ask me this, I hate if you go, and, and some, then the next one is like the entire opposite. Ask me shit, you know, you know, whatever. And the other one, don't ask me for shit, don't I? You know? Oh my God, this is just like everybody, everybody, just like, wow. So, then just, just to, goes to show, you know, how, you know, gay is, but they say, the tracker say, I'm Miss Noma. You know. Oh, that shit is, I'm Miss Noma. Well, I don't know if it's Miss America or Miss whatever. That shit um, ain't accurate. Instead of gay, it should be like bitter, frustrated. Um, pissed. You can look at it. You can look at it. It's called um, grinder, like a grind, and then you put an R at the end. So, okay, I almost got to the, yeah, I think I lost it that way. So I'm, anyway, I'm gonna go with the plastic bags. So I keep looking for the plastic bags, you know. I need them small because all my suitcases are 20 inches. Because, um, <laughs> you know, my dresses are very heavy and whatever I put is going to be really heavy, so yeah. There is put in there, and the limit is only 50 pounds. So, yeah, I mean, like, 
I learned my lesson like 20 years ago. I'm in a big suitcase. It's just, I mean, unless it's empty. It's empty. Yeah, because the limit is it's only. Um, <laughs> The limit is only 50, unless you're first class, and 70 pounds. Who knows? <laughs> With my dress compressed in a vacuum seal bag, maybe 70 pounds. So yeah, I know, it's like 20 pounds, that's it. I don't want no more charges. I mean, I'm still gonna pay, you know. I'm still gonna be nickel and dime for something else. Because I heard, I've seen, you know. I've seen tutorials and I've seen, like, you know. It is very hard. Actually, the only way not to is if you get their credit card. Of course, I was denied. I was denied. Okay. Credit card. Yeah, I, I got denied from from their from their credit card. That would have been cute. I sure would have been cute because I don't have to worry. And you can see, like, I don't know how much they're going to pay for that. I mean, but they write, you know, yeah. Duh. Duh, you know, Neanderthal. Privilege. You know, they have the credit card. They have the mileage, whatever, with the gold. You can stay in their VIP lounge. You can take, uh, <clears throat> you know, up to seven pounds, 70 pounds uh, luggage. You can take a, uh, I mean, it, it is, I think it's unfair. I think it's bullshit, you know, because if you don't get approved for that, card and you gotta pay thirty dollars for the first uh, oh. oh and I'm trying to buy the the ticket I'm trying to buy the ticket that that uh, you know you know of course you know first of all you know I want to you know potential exchange you know, so I gotta get um, economy plus. You know, it's just a lot of a lot of BS. Anyway, I gotta go back to the to the vacuum sealed plastic bags. Um, <clears throat> so I started looking and looking. You know, like come on, I want just you know twenty twenty four. Uh, yeah, 20 inch um, cards. I mean, cards, you know, bags. Oh no, he's saying it. I want the 20. Where was it? Let me see. Yeah, because I don't want to be messing with the ivy. So. Oh. Even this I'm sore. <clears throat> I couldn't find them nowhere. I couldn't find them nowhere. Except, you guessed it, with the big, the big corporations. They was the ones who got them. You were just trying to go like, hey, you know, I, you know, mom and pop, 
you try to, you know, nothing. Nothing. So it kept, uh, I mean, it kept taking me, I mean, not Walmart, not Wally Mart, but, um, but, um, other, um, you know, you know, like, well, actually, there's not even that many. And actually, I, I came across some of the videos, the, you know, the smaller, um, um, you know, dot coms or whatever you want to call them, like, you know, how they all got put out of business, how they got purchased by the big shots. Uh, like, you know, I remember, like, when once I saw the video, I remember there used to be on the in the subway, we used to have all this advertisement, like soap, something. I don't know. It was some other, you know, and they'll just like Obama, you know, and Netflix. Obama made sure that Netflix had no competition anywhere, <clears throat> even even in Eastern Europe. He shut down all the, you know. And that's something I never even thought about it until I saw the documentary. Like, whoa, that's right. I used to be able to, you know, buy music or buy movies, whatever, you know, from, you know, all kinds of countries. And now, like, Anyway, so I started looking, um, I mean, I, I don't know if it's going to be a good one. I mean, I've been talking, talking, like, but to me, it's like, I don't know what that means, you know, like, mind-boggling, but I think it's, that's what it is, I don't know. I heard about it. Boggling. <laughs> boggling. Boggling. I don't know, but, um. So, of course, I ended up, uh, you know, uh, Jeff Bezos' website, right? I'm like, uh, so, he had a good deal. He had a good deal in the, the website, you know, obviously, you know, they, and, uh, Actually, I didn't buy it. I didn't buy it. I don't know if I'm gonna buy it. I don't know. Maybe I should just just go with the uh, with the bags that I got. I don't know. Even if it's just for even if it's just for like you know a few days until I get there. I don't know. I haven't actually um, looked up because uh, I packed it the suitcase already with first I had it packed without the, the bags so now I packed it with the bags you know, pump all the air out not impressed because you know they get like you know like a brick stiff you cannot like oh trying to put something here trying to so I'm still not very sold, but um, anyway, I had a, I spent some, a few minutes looking at the, at the website. So yeah, of course it got like, uh, I mean, no, it's not the only one, but it got like, oh, we take food stamps. We take food stamps, you know, like as to say, you know, hey, we are not, we are not like, you know, vultures, we are not, uh, you know, we actually take food stamps here. <clears throat> I mean, I, I was looking for, I don't know, like it's like, 
clearing section or something. Oh yes, because I was trying to, now I remember, I was trying to avoid delivery, delivery fees. And I needed $8. But what they don't tell you, it gotta be $8 from the shit that they want you to buy. So, so that I wasted time. That I wasted time because you know I looked out and started to look at the clearance. So anyway, all right, here it is. Without further ado, so they have a section on the left. <laughs> oh my God! I was like, <laughs> oh yeah, I just can't believe it. I mean, like I think you said, um, you know, I call it like. <laughs> Oh yeah, said designers. Designers or it says something like high designers or something. You know, I call it like because that was the way I used to know it, you know. Still in the nineteen eighties. Um, you know, as luxury goods. Right. Which I mean I don't even think there's any I don't think there's any more luxury goods. I'm telling the truth. I mean, no garbage with a you know fancy label. Um, you know that that I was interested in. You know, I was like, you know, hey, if it's gonna be good quality, it's gonna last. You know, at least. You know, one lifetime. You know, I'm not gonna say like, like with my grandparents that they left a lot of shit that can be used at least by by the next two generations easily. I mean, I don't know if they are like, you know, reckless, whatever. But, you know, but um, now I just, I don't see why anybody would buy shit, you know. If I, like, even if it was to buy, you know, a handbag, you know, if you was to pay $3,000, $5,000 for your handbag, it's going to fall apart. It, it might not even make it to... To the winter. I mean, if you want to, like, or you know, everything is gonna start fading. Everything, like, you know, like, like this. This actually, I had it this for five years. I don't use it, like, you know. I mean, this is now. This is my yoga bag, and this is for. You know, I mean, I just put my shorts here, and, uh, so I'm thankful that they're still, you know, because usually it's the handles, so, so far so good. Um, I wish Michelle would have put the wig a little bit, <laughs> you know, it's like, she's like, I don't know who put the damn wig on her. Well, you can see that the wig is like showing all her hair, like... I don't know, I like the color, I like that, I like the, the yellow. I mean, her color too. Anyway, I clicked on it. I clicked on it, I was like, wow. It's like, why is all this shit over here, like, you know, you're looking at, you know, just ghetto shit, I mean, I don't care how much they, like, how much they put that, oh, you know, it's, it's good quality, whatever, yeah, it's good quality, come on, I don't think, it's been at least 40 years that, in 30 years, okay, you know, there's nothing you can say, oh, good quality, 
oh, who's who's actually selling quality these days? So, you know, I mean, like shoes, they fall apart. I mean, like, I mean, we used to we used to take it to the shoe smith at least two times, three times. You know, shit. You know. <clears throat> Now it's like the shoesmith said, like, well, this is this is for the garbage. <laughs> so they say, you know, because you know, the way it's designed is, is for, you know, like disposable. It is disposable, but it is very impressive. It is very impressive, like you know, like I thought it was gonna be like uh, more like H and M. You know, like bullshit. Um, you know, like whatever they used to do. I mean, like disposable couture, right? Because they wouldn't even last you like the whole night, the whole night. You know, but but shit, it was designed by such and such. Yeah, it was designed by such and such. But you know, you purposely went and bought the fabrics that was like disposable fabrics that was that you know and I actually knew people who went and spent a fortune buying that shit because my favorite designer so I thought it was gonna be like, you know, I mean, it was a lot of money for H&M too, you know, like, but over here, I mean, I'm just remembering again, this is part of you know, going around and around. Um, Hope it don't come back. So, um, yeah, something like really, I mean, I can only imagine as a child, you know, you, you click on that shit and you see the prices, you know. Five thousand dollars, ten thousand dollars for bullshit. I mean, like, unbelievable. And the worst part is that these children that they think it's normal to be shopping like that, to be paying that much, and they beat themselves up. They beat themselves up. Oh, I cannot even buy, you know, this belt or whatever. You know, this handbag. You know that. You even believe that they got like special powers or something just because it's such and such designer. You know. When it is always, you know, the, the students that, you know, they say, oh, yeah, submit your shit for, again, for the contest. Submit your shit for the contest. Submit, you know, like, you know, you're going to be in this contest. And if you, and if you, if you're picked, if you win, you know, you're going to be hired. This designer is going to hire you. It's the same thing they do in Africa, you know, there's the same shit that, you know, <clears throat> they tell the, you know, the, the kids, you know, like, you know, tech schools, you know, you know how these kids, they're, they're just like, they get to know computer systems and shit, so, so they're constantly, there you go again. So they constantly go into, uh, into like, uh, you know, making like 
Oh, you're gonna win a thousand dollars if you win this contest. So meanwhile, you know, all the all the contestants they take their work. They take their work. They they copy it. They whatever, and that's how they build everything. I think I'm gonna start getting going, but you know, it's, it's like right now we should we should be having like one of the biggest scandals of the 21st century. Why? Because they are shamelessly, shamelessly. Um, you know, plundering every everything and everybody, everybody, everything you ever said, everything you ever done. If you put it online, if you like whatever any entry, um, they put in like actually shit. I have a what like almost fifteen year, fifteen year old. Um, Account on, on the on the bird on the on the blue bird. I got um, I got that. So for instance, you know, oh, 15 years. Oh, well, let's feed it all. Let's feed it all. This is the name of that bitch, right? And uh, we're gonna feed all her her news feed or whatever the timeline. Timeline. That's a big condom. Um, <laughs> stupid shit. Um, so, and just see what the supercomputer is gonna say. And see what it's gonna do with all these 15 years of, you know, entries. And then it's gonna look at everything I retweeted, everything I, you know. And that's it. So the supercomputer is gonna learn <laughs> from me, it's gonna learn from you how to be a human being, how to, it's gonna get so much knowledge from, for free for free well the entire planet should be outraged right now like I mean if we had like self esteem if we had any I don't even know I mean like a sense of even survival even survival because you know to do this to do this is just is like it is, number one, it's so shameless that, you know, it's not like the super AI is learning from the ether, right? That's what they're trying to make us believe, you know. Oh, you know, just the super AI, you know, just like, we're feeding it, we're letting it, because we they're not even feeding it. It's feeding it, they're feeding themselves. They're feeding themselves, these this, uh, mega computers. <clears throat> they say that right now, well, that was right now, that was like five years ago, these monsters that was consuming so much information that it was the equivalent of the information a human being con consume in its lifetime. I mean, like, in one day. In one day. So, who gave them the right? Who who gave them the authority to do that? Nobody. They just like, you know, we are white and we say so. And we're gonna get everything. And nobody is protesting. Nobody is protesting because, yes, they show you all these uh, robots. They show you, you know, the writings, you know, you know, freaking uh, 
you know, the super AI be telling you, oh, th this shit is writing papers. Really. And people they get this fascination. It's like, oh my god. It's, uh, it is writing by itself. And everybody think it's cute. Supposedly, you know, reading what the, the super AI is writing on its own, on its own, right? Because that's what they, the, the story <laughs> they're selling. They're saying, oh. They're so smart. They're so smart that they're like, you know, they can write a whole book by themselves. Ain't it fascinating to see what these pieces of junk are writing? That is, that is, uh, that is progress. That is uh, modernity, right? We were like, progress, go progress, go, right? This is what's gonna save the human race, supposedly. All the bullshit that they, they're feeding, especially the youths, you know, they're, they're telling them, you know, this is viral, vital, vital, viral. <laughs> this is vital for, the survivor, the survival of humanity. We gotta get let the computers, you know, because God forbid, we already seen, you know, there was a scam. There was a scamdemic. Yeah, that you manufacture, that you made, you know, made believe, made believe bullshit, you know. Which, if anything, you know. It actually, um, it's, it's very refreshing, reassuring that life will never attempt against itself. Life will never, will never go, we go, we go like, you know, against, uh, against its own nature, which is what they're selling us, right? Oh, you know, these viruses. You know, as in like saying, you know, nature, nature is cooking up like really horrible, nasty virus. And now we know, now we know that that is not the case. That is, now we know that ain't the case. You know, it's always them. We saw like, you know, the Federation you know, found out, and they got it all there. They got it on video. They got the actual, uh, oh, it's back. Yeah, I got disconnected. I was just like, like that's it. it just bumped me out of, of my own internet. It is those trains today. Last week there was no train, today there's train. <clears throat> I mean that alone you know we should we should all be like well hell no you're not gonna be um, Because this is this was like the only the only opportunity that we got, you know, to stop it, to say no. Everything you're feeding your supercomputers is illegal according to your own 
laws, right? You know, capitalism, copyrighted. You know, we don't have nothing copyrighted, right? We cannot copyright shit. They got everything copyrighted. Whether they did it, whether they manufactured it, or whether, you know, they stole it, whether they, you know, like whatever, they, they copyright it. They don't, you know, they don't it against our indigenous nations in Mexico. I mean, like, shamelessly, you know, just like, they copyright, uh, you know, ancestral uh, designs. France, France went out like, I think we're still fighting them in court. And they're psychopaths and like, shit, you know, this shouldn't even be an argument, you know. But for that, we understand their, their psychopathic nature. Of the, the Neanderthal and do, and all of those who align, you know, with their with their politics that they align with their with their uh, with their bullshit, you know. I mean, it's a uh, secondhand um, you know, psychopathy. So. Psycho, psycho, well, you know, whatever it's like, sociopathy, whatever. You know, because oh, you're gonna go always with any Neanderthals. Well, that is not the accurate term, you know. That is not actually, bitch. You know, like, <laughs> don't divert the, the situation. The situation is that you're doing something that is one thousand percent illegal, which is using. You know, our own experiences, our own, you know, just like everything. And you're feeding it. And you're allowing your your monster computers to, to just like, you know. You know, this is another thing, you know, the transformation of the cars. They look more like, it's starting to look like military cars. Maybe it's just me, but oh, interesting. Um, uh oh, we have here Squally, one of the, the puppets, the U.S. puppets. Anyway, um, yeah, that is an opportunity that, I mean, I'm not going to say that it's all, you cannot do it in the future, but you know, once everything is set up, you know, once that they have, you know, calibrated all their computers, all their bullshit, ones that they have, you know, it's going to be a lot harder because, you know, you're going to have, first of all, the algorithms set up to, to, uh, the algorithms are going to set up to actually stop us from getting justice, from even you know, starting a lawsuit. You know, I mean, this is a time where, you know, like, every citizen should be like, you know, I don't agree. I don't agree with, with uh, you know, these supercomputers, you know, given free range, given, you know, Card blanche to, to be like the entire planet and see, you know. <clears throat> so that's what, you know, and, and that's how, you know, they make, uh, you know, it's gonna be the making of the sentient 
Sentient, sentient, whatever. That is how, you know, when they get us, you know, when they think that they get us, you know, a computer, and they're like, okay, so I know, I know what it feels like to be human because I have like right here 10 billion files on, on humans. You know, recording, you know, what they do, what they don't do every day of, of their life. Like, find patterns, you know, like, what are the days that humans um, don't use uh, social media, for instance. What are the days that humans use a lot? social media, if that was the case, you know, spotting the, spotting the, what's it called, the, all that is the big data, you know, like, why human beings do what we do, you know, why, why this, why that, you know, and, uh, and that shit is getting even more scarier and scarier, you know. It's just like uh, once they figure out, figure us out, you know, that way, you know, that you know, they found out, you know, this is bound to happen. This uh, mega computer is gonna keep growing and growing and growing. They're gonna be perfecting themselves, they're gonna be, you know, calibrating. They're gonna calibrate themselves, they're gonna be like, you know. And they're gonna find out. They're gonna find out what makes us tick, what makes us happy, what makes us, you know, whatever, you know. And they're gonna know, you know, how to talk to us, when to talk to us. And so they don't find any any resistance. Right, it's like is it eating glass? Eating glass? Not food, you know, the Franken food, racks, disposable shit. Now, not even junk food, not even. Well, this is cleaning supplies. Useless shit. They don't even got chips. That's how you know shit is like. Saving lives, 
saving lives and not having to this. First it was corn, nothing made out of corn, they had it. They increase the price, but they don't, they don't even supply it. And I thought, okay, so we're going to pay more. But it's going to be, it's going to be in stock. Nope. There's no out of stock. Out of stock. Thank you. <clears throat> out of stock. No. Wow. That shit's been going on for weeks already. Rearranging. You know everything. The transition to automated. You know everything is uh, automated now. They are not even trying to hire. They are not even trying to hire staff no more. The city, the city and state jobs. They are not even trying to 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 hire all these positions. You know, as, I, as I've been saying, you know, it's just a matter of time. I say maybe five years tops, where you know we will have to do our recertification for our social programs or benefits, benefits that don't benefit us. You know? Just keep us, you know, breathing. Just enough to keep us breathing, you know. Enough for them to swipe or medicate cards. So, they're gonna say, hey, you know, they're gonna need your fingerprint. They're gonna need to, to look at your facial structure. Well, your recertification went through. We know that it's you. We know that it's you. I don't want to live in that effing kind of world. World, you know, like freaking areas. You know, I like to go and and just the whole experience of getting out of your house, going somewhere. You know, just the way. It's always been, right? That's the way it's always been. You know, you go out of your house, you get shit done. You get, you know, the shit that you need. You get, the, uh, you know. Oh no. Oh, okay. I guess this is this will close the, the, the full circle. It will be the full circle that what I've been telling you about. Right, that what I've been telling you about is, is it's just like the message is loud and clear every day. I gotta put the damn glove on. I'm frozen. 
don't go out. I mean, I mean, the message is like you don't have to go out to buy shit because we got everything you need. We got everything you need, and we can deliver to your door. We can deliver to your apartment. And it's true. I mean, right now there's no problem. Like I say, you know, oh, we just we just issued your refund right now. You don't even have to send that shit back. You don't even have to send it back. I'm like, that's how solicitous. I think I'm saying the oops. I think I'm saying the word right. That's how you know they don't want to make nobody pissed. They don't want to make nobody angry. It's like, oh, oh, no, 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 no. Don't even need to. Don't even need to to mail it back to us. You get your refund, no matter what. No matter what. You know, it's like what? Shit, I got like seventeen dollar refund. Like that. They don't want the damn product because, well, they know the product is shit. The product is garbage. They shouldn't have sold it in the first place. But I mean, the ultimate thing is that they want me to remember as a pleasant, pleasant experience. You know, shopping online is very pleasant. You don't have to do shit. You don't have to do shit. They could have come pick it up at my house. They could have like you know, like whatever. I don't know what would have happened if I actually clicked in any of, of the other ones, you know. But I say you know the only one I can do is I can take it to the post office, you know. I yeah, was it the post office? Yeah, Or was it UPS? I don't know. No, I think it was UPS. It was FedEx or something. And I've done that once before, and I was really cool because you know they told me, "Hey, yeah, just email us." Um, I mean, I didn't even have to do nothing. I think they see the barcode or something, and they able to print the labels. They did everything for me, and I didn't have to pay a dime because obviously it was a it was a return. I was returning that crap. So didn't have to do shit. So I thought I was gonna do the same thing. I take it over here. I think they're on Broadway in Dykeman. <clears throat> and uh, so I thought that's not too bad. That's not too bad, you know. Because I mean, the hardest part for me is to get the labels, right? So I don't got a printer. I ain't got a printer, so I was like, I was gonna say, how that shit? Look at this, another one. Another one. They know something we don't know, and don't let them come out and tell you like, oh, it's not that much more expensive than buying a regular. No, it is way more expensive. It is way more expensive than buying a regular car. But like I say, they know something. They know they're on the pigs right there. Just wasting tax dollars on a Sunday where they get paid twice as much. Right. No effing reason. There's no crime. There's shit going on. What are you talking about? Mm-hmm. Yes. I got a deposit more money. So I want to buy the I want to buy the, the plane ticket now. But uh, now they offer me a bundle. Well, it's a bundle of two. Uh, but I think it's a good deal because. It includes the uh, the luggage, like I say, the first and the second. I think the first uh, baggage, the first luggage is uh, thirty dollars, and then the next one it's gonna be forty dollars, so seventy dollars, right there. I don't know. 
Oh, and then they let you be in the VIP lounge. I guess that's why. And I don't know. I'm going to pay it to see you. I mean, I've been trying to do searches and searches and more searches. You know? I've been, I've been like... Uh, trying to find out, you know, what that is. Because they call it... Uh, Luggage checking, luggage, luggage checking, checking luggage. I don't know what they call it. <clears throat> so I've been looking on YouTube. I've been looking to see, you know, what that is. If it's a good deal, you know. Oh, let me go look in search to do bundle bundles. Maybe there's a video of somebody who used it. I don't know. It might be a new thing. I don't know. Calling it bundle, 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 and it says a luggage checking. It's called luggage checking, and it said check your luggage so you don't have to worry about shit. So I don't know. I might even be checking my carry-on bag. I don't know. I mean, like you see, we tolerate so much shit from the from the crackers. You know, that's a laundry mat. We tolerate so much shit from the from the crackers. They're like the vague descriptions. They don't really tell you exactly what it includes. They don't even like you know. You know this is like and they are not African American. But that's as close as it is. You know, to put in a positive image of a heterosexual man. So. Anyway, it's a hundred and three dollars, I think. Yeah, it cost a hundred and three dollars the bundle, and uh, I mean, I'm hoping you know that guarantee that I'm not gonna pay excess luggage. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Me don't know. And now I'm thinking about my, um, you know, somebody left a, a backpack from um, BNS, the visiting nurse service. Um, and, but I don't think it's doing the measurements, you know, that they, that they require. They want you to do... I think it's 17 by, I don't know, I'm like, but it's a really good backpack, it got really good wheels, it got like, I guess they quit, they don't work for VNS Choice no more, and they didn't want to see the backpack, but I think the backpack is, is very, very solid, I think it's a, it's a very good backpack. It's not even on rent. Maybe it's listed, but not physically listed. Um, so anyway, I'm going to buy it. I'm going to buy the, the bundle. And, uh, because I guess I would pay, I guess if I was going to pay the first and second luggage, I think, um, yeah, I think it would be, um, well, I would be $70, but I don't know if that's going to be plus tax, I don't know. Over here, it seemed like everything is included because, you know, I went all the way, you know, like to check out. <clears throat> I went to to check out and uh, it said everything, you know, it said already taxes and everything was included. Anyway, I got to deposit more money. <laughs> I got to deposit more money on my gift card. Look at that beautiful work. 
It's the same AVL people. I hear them up. They're not gonna take that thing out anytime soon, you know, like they gotta do scaffolding for that. Great job. I mean, like at least there's one thing they cannot control. One thing. One thing. And they're going nuts. And they're going nuts. Like oh no. Well, what they expect, you know, people feel like they got nothing to lose. And that is not a good way. That is not a good way to be. Oh shit, I want to take my pictures over here before I go. I want one right here. There's nobody to take me. Oh, there's the tamales. He probably don't have any champurrado, yeah, it's too late. Um, I don't like buying tamales without champurrado. I'm like normal. Until on my way back. So... Scared. I'm terrified. I'm like, but uh, I don't see a future in here, you know. I don't see a future in here, right? and I feel so vulnerable. You know? I feel so damn vulnerable with them. Um, with the winter. God forbid we run out of gas. Nobody give a damn. When you ask people, are you, are you afraid, you know, one day they're gonna say, you know, oh, evil, evil. Evil President Putin, you know, he left us with no gas because that's the way they talk. <laughs> They're not gonna say, you know, oh shit, you know, we fucked up. All these sanctions, all this, you know, bullshit, it's only hurting us. I don't even know what happened with the strategic reserves that supposedly we depleted already. We depleted this shit already and uh, I don't know. I don't know what's going to happen. You know. That is a good question, you know. Because if we run out of gas, if we run out of gas, shit ain't gonna be pretty. Can you imagine me in a shelter? Trying not to freeze my ass, trying to sleep <laughs> in a shelter in New York City. Because, hey, the alternative, what's the alternative? Staying home and freezing my ass. That's the alternative. And that is if they tell us, if they tell you ahead of time, you know, they might not even say anything. They've been known for that, not giving you the heads up. They didn't give you the heads up, nothing like... I do not believe that we, this is the first time that happened. 
what happened in, in New Hampshire. New Hampshire. That's not the first time. Oh, we broke a record. We broke the record, you know. We we reach uh, minus 110. Minus 110 degrees. And then, ah, but that was with the wind chill. That was with the wind chill. Okay. So do you want to die from the wind chill? <laughs> you want to die from, I mean, I don't know. It's just crazy talk, you know, like. Uh, I don't, um, I don't feel safe. I don't feel safe at all, you know. Mm -hmm. Just look at the sky. Look up in the sky, it's a bird, it's a plane. Nope. It's the chemtrails. I'm getting so tired. I don't know if this is related with that. Especially the last six months. I'm to think about you know? there's a lot of things to think about you know I mean and there's nobody we can blame but ourselves you know <clears throat> I mean if we're seeing you know I mean I, I'm sure a lot of people you know because I have I try to talk to, to people about what's going on you know and uh, I mean the only one that actually kind of went viral was um, was uh, what's it called um, Ohio Ohio and, um, and um, New Palestine you know only only there you know so far everybody I, I've spoken with they all heard about it but they are not worried about it. <laughs> I'm like, what? You worry about it, but you ain't. I mean, you know about it, but you don't worry about it. You go like, this madness, you know. This madness. So they know about uh, what happened in Ohio. They know there was all whites. 
And they know the president refused to go visit, uh, you know, go see the the wreckage. They know the president. They know it's like. But only until it happened to you. That's when. That's when. The, People they go like, oh my god, it's so tragic. Oh my god, this should happen to me. Yeah, but when it happened to other people, it's like no problem. When it happened to other people, there's no problem. Only when it happens to you. And by that time, it's gonna be too late, you know. By that time. You know, what they call it, um, the definition of insanity, you know, like doing it all over and over again. I mean, we, we should all be like, oh, we all. We all East Palestine, you know. We all like, uh, you know, you know. The ratchet bitches from hell. They're charging everybody else before me. I was like right next to it. The other one closed the register and go fuck herself. I don't have to tolerate their bullshit. I don't. Thank God. Thank God there's other places I can buy shit. I mean, you, you only save like... Actually, right now, I think it's only... Um, I think it's only like... Um, 40 cents. Because they keep increasing their price. They keep raising the price of, uh, of the tortillas. Ya acabo. Pero no tiene champurrado. ¿Le tiene champurrado? ¿Sí le queda champurrado? A ver cuánto le queda. Sí. Me da uno grande, por favor, y dos tamales. Dos tamales de verde. Nada más le queda verde. Ok, pues de verde. So, that would have been like, you know, okay, so we're all East Palestine, right? That would have, that should have been like, It's um, like seeing people, you know, um, and, and uh, let me show you. They haven't even opened yet. They haven't opened yet, but they already got their, their mark. They already got their mark. Wow. Are you sure you want to open your store here? It seems like they're gonna paint it. They're probably they're probably gonna hire the same people, who, the same guy who painted this. ¿Cómo han estado bien? Bien, gracias a Dios. Todos Pues no tan bien como ustedes, pero estoy ya listándome para regresarme a México ya. Primero Dios en enero. Estamos bien, estamos bien de salud. Eso es lo importante porque hay una Siempre hay problemas, pero si estamos bien de salud. ¿Cómo vamos a estar bien de salud? ¿Cómo? Está caminando, está respirando. Si nos están, mire. ¿Usted no se sabe si son nubes? Mire cómo se ve alrededor del sol. Contaminación. No, son químicos que nos están. ¿No están viendo cómo nos están rociando como si fuéramos cucarachas? Yo, yo sé que tú tienes razón. No, esto aquí ya valió. La gente no. Aquí no tiene ¿Usted sabe lo que pasó en, 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 en Ohio? Ajá. 
en uno que le dicen Palestina del Este, una ciudad de puro blanco. Pues que dice que hubo un descargamiento de, de un tren. Del tren, oh, sí, sí. Y te digo, y ahora la gente, o sea, este, se le está la piel toda manchada, tienen, o sea, una situación horrible, y son blancos. Y Biden se rehúsa a ir a ir, a, ir a visitarlos. El que fue, fue Trump, el que fue fue Trump. Quiero ver si traigo bolsita. No, yo tengo funda aquí, pues son. Sí, para ver. ¿Tú no lo puedes echar aquí junto con los tamales? No. No, te va. Es mejor el baño separado, porque el baño viene. Nada más ahorita voy a ir a la carnicería allá. Pero está horrible la cosa allá. Son un químicos, o sea, de lo más tóxico. A nadie le importa. A nadie le importa. Todos los días se están poniendo ahí, este, se han muerto, dicen que más de 40 mil animales. Todo, todo, se, todo se, se está muriendo ahí. Todo se está muriendo ahí, o sea, digo, por, por los químicos. Y no es el único. Ha, ha habido como, hasta ahorita van como más de 50 bodegas que se incendian. Sí, gracias. Bodegas que se incendian. Este. Y, y todo eso está. Fíjate, nada más en, en la, allá en la, que le llaman Chicago Heights. Ya van como ocho. Bodegas que se incendian misteriosamente. Con químicos que te digo. De ahí, de aquí en 10 años, todos van a salir con asma. Con. Con todas todo esas no, alergias. No, no. Poco a poco. Eso no va a ser efecto luego, luego, con el tiempo, poco a poco. No. Y pues ustedes si ya tienen ciudadanía, pues se pueden ir, pueden regresar cuando quieran. No tienen que quedarse aquí, te digo, con estos inviernos tan, tan feos. Y eso no es nada. Cuídense. Bueno, o sea que los chiquillos se van a querer ir. You know, his children are already grown. I mean, not grown, 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 but you know, I see them like, well, one of one of them is like my height already, <laughs> like you know. So, he got them to I'm just gonna carry it like this. I still gotta heat it up. I've been selling there for like 20 years. I think even since before he had the children. <laughs> And now the children are grown. But yeah, the children never want to go. This. That's the first thing that they destroy, you know, they destroy. Um, Individualism, they destroy. I mean, I should uh, rephrase that, you know, because on one hand, yeah, there's this horrendous individualism, you know, that selfishness, you know, that kind of individualism, you know. What I was talking about, you know, being, uh, you know, independent thinkers, they don't want to leave. They don't want to go away. Like, because they watch so much shit on, on, on their phone, on social media, they're watching like, you know, hey, you know, Mexico is bad. Mexico is bad. We are good. Look at this. Good, eh? Cover and filth, trash everywhere. But they say we owe $32 trillion. It's like going to eat in one of those diners in a greasy spoon 
and then they they give you the bill and it's like oh you gotta pay five thousand five thousand dollars this greasy spoon yeah we're getting ripped we're getting ripped i'm here already 